Our investigation into this Goss's wilt uh, started in 2009. Previously, it had been a mild, weak disease in six counties in eastern Colorado, western Nebraska. Then all of a sudden, in 2009, it jumped clear to Pennsylvania and north to Manitoba. Until right now, it uh, affects about 80% of the U.S. corn crop. Standing in front of the field that we stopped at three weeks ago, and what we're looking at were disease stalks and shanks that were rotten. Now at that time it was early phase of the disease and we know how it works is the bacteria and the semi-metallic crystal end up plugging the plumbing tissue of the plant. I'm standing in another healthy field in Northern Story County. Again, the plants are green and healthy even in spite of having the same weather, same temperature, same amount of rain as other fields. The difference here is uh, the bacteria was not able to attack it. We're seeing green healthy corn. We've got stronger stalks. We've got no disease on the ear shanks and as a result the yield is going to be much better than in the neighboring fields that are brown. We also see larger ears, more grain, ears extremely heavy and tight with grain. We look at the kernels on the ear, extremely solid grain fill, shallow dent. Uh, the farmer is very happy with these fields. Yields here versus other fields, he's probably going to be 40 to 60 bushel an acre better. Proof is in the pudding. I had this here in my hand earlier. I just walked in, grabbed another average ear. Diameter on these ears is phenomenal. Last year, this field was running 265 to 28500 uh, bushels an acre. Now, to draw a comparison, this field, we're tickled paint with a yield. Standability is good. Plant health is good. Right next door is a field that was hit very hard by the disease. I'll stand in front of it. You can see it's completely brown and extremely dead. The yield and the standability are not going to be good in the field at all. And this is what we're seeing in about 90% of the acres in Iowa and much of the Midwest. Now an egg person might be wondering why are we so concerned about having a healthy plant with green ears? The answer is what the leaves are doing on the plant is converting sunlight energy, carbon dioxide from the air, and water from the soil into sugars, and the sugars make up most of what fills the grain. This would be coming from the green field. Now from the brown field where the leaves were brown, it died early, we've got ears that are looking just like this. This was picked from one of these fields. Guess which field? These are fields that all should be dark green yet on September 16th instead everything is brown this is a new bacterial disease that's killed the corn the last early the last eight years trimming yields raising the threat of having contaminated grain being harvested from the fields the National Ag Statistics Bureau came out with their estimate last week and they said 26% of the corn in Iowa had reached maturity. 90% or better was dead. So we have to make the assumption that roughly 70% died before it reached maturity. That is not normal. Uh, this uh, farm here uh, I was in CRP for 25 years. We had two years of soybeans, and this year was the first uh, corn crop that we put out here. Uh, I've had a lot of uh, disease in uh, my other fields for years around here. We're in a lower hanging area that gets a lot of uh, late season disease. Usually around uh, Labor Day weekend, uh, the plants all pretty well turn uh, brown and, and die prematurely. 
Uh, so that's why I was very intrigued with the uh, BioImprove product that Bob had uh, told me that he want, wanted me to try. So uh, we put it on uh, right at Tassel. I've been really uh, amazed compared to the uh, fields around uh, my neighborhood and some areas where they did not hit with the helicopter here just because it's too close to the woods. Uh, here we are today and uh, this is 113 day corn that was planted on the 6th of May. Uh, we've got, it's not black layered yet and uh, we've got green plants all the way top to bottom. Uh, as you can see, we're filled out and still uh, still adding adding to the yield at this point in time, which is very unique for the whole Midwest region. I travel 14 states for Verdesian Life Sciences and manage uh, the business in these 14 states. In the last three weeks, I haven't seen anything but brown corn everywhere I've went. So uh, that's got us quite excited about what we're seeing here. So uh, that's what I was really curious about here was uh, we had Nutrisphere applied here in uh, first of July uh, with urea, and so we we've got a pretty uh, good supply of ammonium nitrogen to the plant, and so the plant wasn't weakening itself. So when we put the BioImprove on, uh, that's where I think we're seeing the synergistic effect is that the BioImprove is taking care of any of the immune system problems that plant has, and it's allowing that plant to convert that ammonium nitrogen right to grain fill, and uh, could be a really nice effect here with the two together. And look at the uh, kernel depth. That's probably over a half inch deep there. Yeah, it's amazing. This corn was bright green. Labor Day weekend on Sunday. I was here. And I came back two, two days later and it was all brown. And that's when I realized that uh, the biome proof was really doing something on mine. What do you see for your size? Disappointing. There's an untreated ear. You lose the green tissue, you lose the ability to fill the kernels. And also, these are going to be a lot healthy. smaller. And this stuff, let's see, we were looking at black layer on the other one. I'll bet this one's, oh, look at this. Kernel depth's really shallow. About well, three eighths of an inch, so you're almost a quarter inch shorter died before it's time. Look at that. Ooh. See, the clavibacter rots all the tissue. It dissolves the woody tissue. Cobs are mushy. You won't be able to get them off decently. And separating the grain from the cob is really tough. Grain quality, that's the stuff you don't want to put in your bin. Don't even look like the same hybrid, does it? It might still be one at 7180. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. But the other makes 240. Got the same money in both of them. Even at $3 corn, yeah. it still adds up quite Got a bit. Got the same money in both of them. If this is typical of what BioImprove can do, I've been fortunate in my career to have a couple breakthrough products I've been able to be affiliated with. This certainly looks like it has potential to be another one. Yeah, that's a pretty cool difference right there. It's the new gosses. The reason why is the actual gosses is caused by a clavibacter bacteria involving a semi-metallic crystal. And uh, it stays in the soil. It's probably being transmitted either by the seed or through the air because we're picking it up in combined cab filters and vacuum, green vac filters. But uh, where you get an infection, it puts off a product called amylase and it will dissolve the woody tissue in grain or in the stalk. This stalk's going to tip over probably within two weeks here when we get a windy weather. Uh, later we'll probably see a bl distinct black line at each of the nodes. And it's getting plugged. And Yeah, there's nothing getting through that one right there. So it's just going to get worse, and uh, which is why this corn is pretty dry already. Once it's in an area, it's going to stay in the area. But as it is, farmers have to be aware of it. Uh, 
they need to educate themselves on it. Uh, proper nutrition and having a high enough micronutrient and nutritional level in the plant to uh, help the plant mount an immune system response is what they have to do. And then the BioImprove uh, is probably one of the major tools in the toolbox on it. But that's a compare the ears. Is that so you one? got a choice? No. This Let's one come from an adjoining field. This one or this one. Yeah, these are all bioimproved. Shallow ears. dent. Shiny. Seeing is believing. Certainly making a believer out of me. Yes. Well, this is our, uh, Bob, this is our second year that we used it. Uh, last year our corn uh, stayed healthier, stayed green longer and it was healthier throughout the season. It yielded very well um, in visiting with the neighbors. I think it yielded better than the neighbors. You can tell by the ears that we have here, Bob, they, uh, they filled way out, the tips filled out very well. Um, it's good, healthy, not a lot of dent, not a lot of shrinkage at the end of the year, and I think that's due probably to the longer that it stayed healthy. Very impressive with what it's doing, ear size, plant health. Yes, and it's last, uh, previous year we just did uh, just a trial. This last year we did it across all the acres, and next, this coming year we're also planning on doing it all across all of our acres just because it's, uh, we always have diseases come in of some type, and it's kind of an insurance policy against that. And I think the, uh, it's a definite, a def definitely a benefit for us. The corn on corn with the buy on prove on was yielding 275 to 295 bushel an acre. The best he's ever had before was 225. Disease-wise, uh, these stalks are really healthy yet today. And uh, we look at the pith in the bottom of the stalks and it's all fully engaged yet. There's still moisture in them. And uh, when you got uh, average ear size like we're looking at right here, uh, it's just been rolling out. It's really been a lot of fun to spend the last couple days uh, out here on the compound. But I can tell you one thing, if you've got more ammonium nitrogen being taken up by the plant, uh, the plant is not going to be uh, converting as much nitrate to nitrogen to ammonium. So therefore its immune system is going to be stronger and if the bioimproved that when it was added, it, it's kept that immune system at an even higher level. So I think that's why this corn stayed green so long and I think that's why we got grain fill with the extra ammonium nitrogen from the Nutrisphere uh, being a healthy plant. It was able to take advantage and uh, spend most of its energy on grain fill and not on fighting off disease. Looking at the ear here, it is filled right to the tip, kernels up and over. Go to the one right to its right, same thing. This ear, kernels up and over the tip of the ear. I'd love to be able to uh, tell this story all over the 14 states that I cover. This wasn't a, an anomaly, it's a combination of practices what myself and other members of our group have discovered through eight years of working with this new Goss's wilt disease is that we have to use a multi-step program. There's no silver bullet. We first of all have to improve the health of the soil through uh, better cultural techniques, use of cover crops, build the soil biology and understand it. Next, we need to build the nutritional level of the plant as high as possible. And lastly, the product we were looking for was something that would knock out the Goss's wilt on a long-term basis through the season. We found it. It was the BioImprove. And what we are seeing with it is 30, 40, 60, 100 bushel an acre yield increase, which has been dramatic and provides a very strong ROI to corn farmers.